We're travelling on the first passenger service of the hybrid flex train. It's a 20 year old diesel train that we've converted to a battery diesel hybrid. It's got a very powerful battery underneath the train that makes it cleaner, it makes it quieter and it makes it faster than the diesel trains in the rest of our fleet. The hybrid power pack um, basically consists of um, the engine itself, the diesel engine, um, and the uh, energy pack, that's what we call the battery pack, and of course um, the transmission for the train and all the ancillary systems that you need to operate the train, like um, the cooling system and uh, the, um, also the uh, exhaust gas train system. So it's a very compact um, power pack that is uh, under, underneath the train and um, including a battery. Effectively, the system operates on GPS, so it's geofenced around a station. The train knows when it's approaching a station and will switch from diesel to battery power, operate silently into the station, and then power away from the station silently on battery again. The system knows how much charge is in a battery, so if for some reason there wasn't enough charge in the battery, it would continue op to operate on diesel power for a shorter distance of time to recharge and then make sure we have enough battery electric power to, to restart at the right time. So the diesel engine on its own already fulfills the highest uh, diesel emission standard um, and um, you can definitely also use the pack without the battery. But the battery obviously brings in the benefits of recuperation. So when you uh, break the car, you get the recuperation energy, which is otherwise wasted anyhow. And um, the battery pack brings in the benefit of the noise. So in the stations, as you could see just now, there is no noise. And also um, because of the uh, recuperation, you saved also uh, from the air the pollution coming from the brake pads. So the brake pads also generate dust, um, uh, but with the battery um, recuperation, you can also save uh, the pollution part. Um, I think, in general, obviously we were, we have both technologies. So we both have the pure diesel technologies, but on our way to net zero, we want to definitely do a lot more uh, hybrid and maybe even going to electrifications um, and and uh, in general we want to make um, the whole propulsion technology cleaner and uh, climate friendly. On battery power the unit can operate for say a, a mile outside of a station in the station and, and then accelerate away from a station for about a mile. Again uh, we're, we're proving the theoretical parameters during this testing and uh, we'll be testing throughout the spring, summer, autumn period to make sure we capture all that the UK weather can throw at it to prove the technology, prove it works, prove it delivers the benefits that we expect. We'll be running it throughout this year to prove the technology works, gather data, prove the performance and assess the business case for the unit. It's forecast to save 25% of fuel on each journey, reduce nitrous oxide emissions by 70%, reduce noise by 75% and reduce particulate emissions from the engine by 90%. So it's a fantastic piece of technology that is really going to deliver cleaner air benefits, less carbon consumption and quieter journeys. This is the first hybrid flex train in service and we'd love to see more of them running around on the network, working closely with our partners at Chilton to see if we can make that happen. These trains are a pretty good platform um, for the passenger services. The configuration of the train is good, of the one third, two thirds doors. So um, we think these trains have got a really good future. What we're trying to tackle with this project is about decarbonising and reducing emissions so that that um, transition to full electrification or transition to battery trains across the network um, can happen in parallel to doing something like this in the short term. The next step really is working on the fleet rollout plans, the timing of those, working with uh, Chilton and you know, looking at the business case and evaluating that with the, the Department of Transport as well. This technology could be applied to more turbo stars, to other fleets, to new build um, fleets as well. So we're working really closely with the partners at Rolls-Royce looking at other opportunities and how we can make the most of what we've done here across lots of different fleets. And we're working with other colleagues in the industry as well on that.
So we're introducing this into passenger service to date. It's running for the first time. It's carrying customers and, and people with the uh, uh, reception and launch party. Uh, we're really keen to understand how it performs in real life operations and in parallel we are working on the business case to look at how we can uh, convert more of these trains in the future. That business case is going to take a few months as is the trial so hopefully around about the summertime we'll be able to see what's going to happen next. So we started this project um, I think in 2018. Um, we discussed with uh, uh, Butterbook and also a couple other customers uh, regarding you know, installing this hybrid technology in, in the train. Um, back then it was really a pioneer work and so we're very happy that um, today that kind of dream and all the groundwork that we did in the past years have really come into reality and that's uh, really exciting. Uh, this battery hybrid trial is massively important for Chilton Railways. We are uh, currently operating an old diesel fleet of trains. Uh, we've got one of the oldest fleets in the industry and we're determined to modernise and to decarbonise Chilton. So this trial is massively important for us. It could be a very powerful uh, way forward for us to modernise and decarbonise this railway.